Got more free UGC today from games that are pretty much from last summer. This item right here, the Gucci Town Anniversary Sunglasses, celebrating a one-year anniversary, just like Tommy Play and Vans World did today. So the game is Gucci Town. You guys are probably very familiar with it, but I've got the link in the description so you guys can go there pretty quick. So as soon as you go here, you can see one-year anniversary celebration. You have to collect 15 items to win an award. There's this big hole that's appeared in the very middle of the map, and if you just jump on these things, then you You'll go into the hole and it just tells you that you basically need to collect the things now trying to collect them is a little bit trickier than i thought it was going to be at first uh first of all there's a lot of them that you're just going to find really easily on the way down so you can see as i'm collecting these on the first time through uh these are a lot easier to collect that butterfly i couldn't tell that that butterfly was actually one of the items but it, it actually is so uh it's okay though if you're passing some of these and not getting them because you can just keep going through here over and over and you're gonna have to go through a few times probably in order to get these so if you're able to get these in just one run then uh kudos to you that's pretty awesome congratulations uh but it's you're probably gonna have to go through a couple times so on the left side you see there's that return to hub button you want to use that when you're towards the end basically after you don't think there's any more to collect and then that will bring you back to the hub and you can just start going down again but you can see we've got number four and five so on that first run we've only collected five of them on the way down and then when i go down to this area area so what's going on is each time you collect one of these items you're lighting up one of those orbs and you need to light up the pathway to get to the end of that path that you have at the end of this thing so we're going down the second one grabbing some of the ones that we missed on the way now there's two little areas that you can go inside of this is the first one and then there's a second one down there so this first one actually has three of the items inside of it in total so i didn't collect all three of them basically at the same time there's a little bit of a maze once you go through here a couple times uh it's pretty easy to kind of know where you're at and navigate so it's not really difficult but you have to kind of jump up here to get over to the other side so that you can kind of get around in different areas here so uh just kind of get to know your way around here there's going to be three of them you can see that one right there the first one uh what i did was i just grabbed that one and underneath it is a hole that will just pull you down to uh the the rest of the whole thing you'll start free falling again so if you go down that hole you're just gonna have to come through again another time but you can see right here my first time i ended up just backtracking and sort of going back to where i started just trying to get myself familiar with this but yeah you guys do the same thing just try to get yourself familiar with this and then right here you guys see that one there is that you grab that and then you go down the hole but there's also two more over there we're gonna go get those here after we pick up some more of these on the way down so we've got the butterfly over here which is sort of moving around weird but it's a really big target so that one's pretty easy to get so at this point you can see we've got eight of the 15 items uh most of them are floating now we've got the second area right here we've got a little a little house area over to the right so uh i see the sweater and i figured i'm gonna go for this shirt first and then i'll go into that little second house area my next time through so uh most of them though you can see like i've also just still missed some of them floating down so this is inside of the first box area again like right right next to where that coin was over here on this little sculpture there was another one so that's just two out of three that are in this one uh but we're gonna go to the second house here again because now the 11th one i've gotten here is from the second house so we got to go in here and then it takes a little bit of time after you land before your character starts moving so just be patient with that uh it's not really too buggy so the first one we're going to just jump on all these platforms and then go over to this first one that is green and it's just going to launch us in the sky we're going to grab one of those items uh in doing that and you can see i just barely missed that fanny pack right there so i'm gonna have to go back through and get that fanny pack so uh also in the very beginning uh, another one that i've missed here is the star all along pretty close to where you start out in that whole thing uh and then uh you can see we've got now th just three more of these objects that we need to get so uh first thing we're gonna do here this is the again the second house area that we're gonna go into over here uh actually oh this time we're not going in there we're gonna get the fanny pack first and then we're going to click on the return to hub button on the left side there's really no point in finishing it and going through that whole thing at the end uh so the next one we're going to get here you can see the first little house with the maze stuff there is one of those items down there i'm not sure if that's pizza or what it is it looks like food somehow i don't i don't really know what kind of food it is but anyways just follow where i go we're going to go and find that and at this point i've gotten a little bit more familiar with this little area so uh, it's a little easier for me to sort of navigate around. Uh, so just kind of follow where I'm going here. We're going to go to the back and we're going to try to find how we can get that little 
pizza or calzone? I, what do you guys think it is? Like in the comments, I'm just really curious what you guys think that thing is. I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say calzone. It looks like a calzone, but it looks like food. Looks pretty good. Anyways, we've got that one. So now you can see we've got 14 out of 15 of the items collected. We're gonna go to the second house area and then uh remember how we went up here and the first time we went left and then it launched us this time we're just going to actually follow all of these platforms so you guys can also double jump when you go through this you don't have to just single jump it's a little bit of a far jump on some of these if you just do a single jump most of them you can do with a single jump with no problem but you can do a double jump and then he does a little flip so just make sure you don't fall off if you fall off i think you kind of go back and you have to start all over again so uh, yeah, I think also here on the end, it seemed like one of these platforms tried to like move on me right there. So there's a little gap, just mind that gap. But anyways, last item right there, that is the 15th item. So now all we have to do is we just need to jump off the platform and we need, need to make it to the end. And then at the end of this thing, there's that path. And now that whole path is going to be lit up and we're gonna be able to make our way to the end of the path so that we can actually get this item. So we're just gonna jump and free fall all the way to the end. This is gonna teleport us to this area over here. And all we have to do is walk along the path. And you see that every single one of these little orbs here that is lighting the way, that is making it so it's safe for you to walk along this path. And that's why it's unsafe for you to walk the path until you get all 15 items. Why collecting an item lights a light bulb i don't really know it's just how video games work guys so don't ask any questions just go enjoy your free item this is a pretty decent item too some sunglasses they're pretty colorful if you guys have a purple outfit they'd be kind of something that would go nice with it but anyways at the end of this path you will see this item right here just walk over it and touch it and then you can see right there on the bottom right hand corner of the screen we've got the badge and having that badge means that we've got that item right there in our inventory so if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so i can let you guys know about other free items in the future and thanks for watching we'll talk to you guys later